studios, weedweedbrewing.com. Drink different. I'm Jeremy Green of ESPN Radio, joined by Tommy Bradley, Panther fan extraordinaire. And this is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 2021 win-loss projection video from the Sportsocracy. Be sure to click the like and subscribe button so you'll know every time we go live, including weekdays at 9 a.m. for the Sportsocracy morning show. As always, brought to you by Wicked Weed Brewing, wickedweedbrewing.com. Drink different. Uh, Tommy, I, I, I have to do this. I, I know Mr. Spencer, our resident Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, is not here. Oh, goodness. Fire them cannons. By golly, put more powder in those things. You have a drop cut for you. I suppose you have to use it. Yeah. Uh, the voice of Tampa Bay Buccaneers, voice play by, or play -by, -play -by guy Gene Deckeroff. Uh, this is the reigning Super Bowl champions, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see a way they don't win this division. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they're going to rack up a lot of wins and be good at the footballs this year. I would say they will be very good at the footballs with uh, Mr. Brady coming back for his second yep. year in Tampa Bay. Uh, looking at their schedule, I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't hate it. I, I just look at it and go, damn it, why is this a team that won the freaking Super Bowl and has a schedule yeah. that I just look at? I mean, r really breaking this down, I don't see any way that they don't start hot and finish hot. Yeah. It, they've got good stretches all throughout their schedule. There's no point in time that I really think like they're going to struggle, um, which I wouldn't anyway, no matter what their schedule is, because they are one of the best teams in the league. Um, <clears throat> I think through the draft, like what it frees you up to do when you don't have a lot of holes is pick high upside guys, and that's what they did. I mean, getting Joe Tryon, who's an absolute physical freak, um, being able to get Robert Hainsey, uh, as Tank always says, you know, lineman from Notre Dame, you can't go wrong. They always turn out well. And Jalen Darden, a guy that you're really high on I um, do love as a Darden. receiver. K.J. Britton, the linebacker core. So every year they, you know, just seem like they make good moves in the draft. As much as I hate it, being a Panthers fan, they're not only set up for success now, I think they're set up for success for a couple of years. Um, as long as Brady's around, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be here and fire them cannons way too much and uh, they're going to be the class of the division as long as he sticks around. There is going to be a lot of fire them cannons by golly put more stupid power <laughs> in things. Uh, I, I look at Tampa Bay as n uh, no doubt uh, they're the favorite to win this division by a lot. Yeah. Uh, looking at your 2021 uh, NFL projections you have the Buccaneers at 13 and 4 uh, winning the, di the division by four games over your Carolina Panthers. Yep. And I can't say as though I really disagree with you. Hashtag no homer. You've got them going back to the Super Bowl, losing to the Cleveland Browns ultimately. Yep. Looking at my projection, I have Tampa Bay as the one seed uh, in the NFC uh, at 14 and three. I do, however, have them losing to Washington in the divisional round of Ooh, the playoff. Early. I think Washington's the team they just don't want to see. Yeah. I think so long as you can avoid Washington because they can do the one thing that really messes with Tom Brady, which is rush the passer. Exactly. I think they're, if I, if if you put a gun in my head and said 10 times, if, if you played the season out 10 times, how many times did the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wind up in the Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. I'd say no less than three, but I'd probably go with four. Yeah. I mean, I would say they're, how many teams do you really feel as good about as you do with Tampa Bay? Uh, not many, and I tried to be, you know, objective in mine, but I just can't get over, you know, how they came together towards the end of last year. I mean, it was their first year. You've got to go through those growing pains. They didn't even unleash Gronk until the playoffs. They're that good that they feel like they don't have to fully unleash all of their weapons and show everyone what they've got until the playoffs. They're completely building this around what Tom thinks is the best way to get through the year and win a championship. Um, he's done it for so many years. He's the GOAT. No matter what you think of him, no matter how much you despise him, he's the GOAT. He's going to have his team in position to win every year, and this year's going to be no different. And I had them losing in the Super Bowl just because I'm hoping that some of the talent that the Browns have in the back end um, will be able to hold on to some of those receivers, make the Tamp the Buccaneers a little more one-dimensional, um, let Miles Garrett get to the quarterback. So um, just to kind of switch it up, that's what I went with. But honestly, I can see Tampa winning it all again. I, I easily could too. Uh, Tampa, but it, it, you know, with, with Tank not being here, I can say this: uh, th this team is really, really good. Yeah. I undervalued them last year. I'm not going to do that this year. This is the class of the NFC South. I think they will win the division again and get to the playoffs. And with Tom, you can never count them out.
Yeah. Uh, for Tommy Bradley, I'm Jeremy Green. This has been the Sportsocracy's 2021 win-loss projection for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Be sure to click like and subscribe so you'll know every time we go live, including 9 a.m. every weekday morning for the Sportsocracy Morning Show. As always, we're brought to you by Wicked Weed Brewing, wickedweedbrewing.com. Drink different. <laughs>